this thing working? Is it working? How the hell do I say something? Is this working? Can y'all hear me? Is that a thing? Come on. Freaking light in here. Ugh. It's been a while since I've done a live stream. For obvious reasons. It's a pain in the ass. I gotta hook up the computer with the thing. You know what I mean? The freaking Wi-Fi's gotta be right. This apparently now you have to have Google Chrome to do this. It's a pain in the ass, man. Holy crap, look at all these comments. Yep, we can hear and see you. What is up? Good morning, guys. Let's go. Boop, boop, boop. Finally caught one of your live streams. Dude, it's been a long time since I've done a live, a, a live stream. Sorry, I got to talk properly. I can't. It's like, dude, this freaking light right here. So how do you freaking do, guys? What is up? It has been absolutely crazy lately. So I figured... Figured let's do a live stream today because, uh, dude, Pepe, Alex, Alex is out of town. Alex is in uh, Ohio right now. So I'm facing stuff, which is crazy because, like, he's not going to be in Florida for 4th of July. It's like, why would you not want to be here for 4th of July? We're going to go boat. We're going to blow a bunch of shit up. It's going to be awesome. Be drinking. Um, yeah, dude, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good time, man. What do we got in the comments here? It's my birthday and you're live streaming. Dude, well, happy birthday, Amanda. Saw Richard in the thumbnail. Where is Richard? Richard, come here, dude. Everybody wants to say hi to you. Come on. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Come on. Say hi. Check everybody out. See? Say hi, Rich. How you doing? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, he is getting gigantic. He's the, honestly the best puppy ever. I don't know if you guys follow me on uh instagram but dude i post videos of him doing funny stuff all day long he goes everywhere with me he's the best little dog ever like literally he's so easy i take him absolutely everywhere look how big he is he fits he fits anywhere anywhere i put you in your little bag bring you to the store oh everybody loves him oh, it's the best he's honestly the best thing that's ever happened to me in a really long time so, yes, I got some comments saying it was nice meeting me at the Tampa Zoo. Dude, it was awesome meeting everybody at the Tampa Zoo. It was really crazy, actually. Like, uh, dude, we, we got there. I got there a little bit early because, of course, Chandler's late to everything. So, dude, it was – we got super bombarded. Like, insane amount of people, bro. Thank you guys so much. Like, I've done – a million tattoo conventions and reptile conventions. And there's always like, I feel like at a tattoo convention, there's a lot of really well-known tattooers there. So it kind of like your fans get dispersed between people. But dude, being at the zoo when most of the people were there for like Chandler and me and Shannon or and Savannah, Will, you know what I mean? Like it was just a lot. Like me and Chandler were just like, holy crap, dude. I must have took a thousand pictures with people. I signed a million shirts. Like it was it was insane, dude. Sold, I think it was over a hundred, over a thousand tickets. Okay. Keep in mind, all this money goes towards the Gariel Conservation, which is a critically endangered crocodilian in India. You guys didn't know that. Um, and then we did a fundraiser at the end of the day where we auctioned off a bunch of things, uh, including like I bought, I bought things. I contributed my own money. You know what I mean? Like Chandler bought Chandler bought a painting from Stacy for like $2,300. I bought a crocodile skull that literally this crocodile skull that I bought was $700 on their website. I paid $2,300 for it. So like, I mean, it's for conservation. You know what I mean? I could have bought seven of them. But like, it just is awesome knowing that we were able to raise so much money for this conservation and hopefully, dude, save a species of crocodilian from going extinct, which is pretty freaking awesome. You know what I mean? Like we raised $107,000 for this conservation and 107 grand, dude, does a lot. So thank you guys. Thank you everybody who came out to Tampa Zoo. It was a badass time. 
oh, we got some people shoot some things over here. Oh, sorry, I'm paying attention. Would you ever, would you ever move from Florida or do you love it too much? Dude, Florida is my jam. I can never leave Florida. I travel the world. I go all over the place. If I were to move out of Florida, I would probably move to like Costa Rica or something. Even though you can't have captive wildlife in Costa Rica, which really sucks unless you're like AZ, AZ or whatever sanctuary. Um, that would be the only way. If I was able to have animals or a sanctuary and still be able to rehabilitate animals and rescue them and you know what I mean, then I would do that. But Florida is where it's at, man. You know, let's see here. Howdy from down under. Thanks, Maka. I worked with the great apes in my local zoo. Oh, yeah. Dope. There's, dude, there's a lot of ape uh, sanctuaries down here. You know, a lot of people back in the day got these animals, didn't know what they were getting into. And obviously, when a chimpanzee or a orangutan or whatever it is, they get huge. You know, they, they act a lot different and they're, they're freaking smart ass animals. You know what I mean? So let's see what else we got going on over here. I need to get myself to Florida. ARC Exotics. Hell yeah, you do. Hey, from UK. Hey, from Belgium. What is going on, guys? What else did I want to talk today? Okay, so I really want to talk about Taruk. That is the main reason why I'm doing this video. And um, it's been a rough week because she has not been here in a week. So, like, you know, it sucks. You know what I mean? Like, it's 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 sad. You know, it's my it's my baby. Like, it's one of my one of my kids. You know what I mean? So imagine, you know, things not working out. And what people what people don't understand is I read a lot of comments on that last video, and obviously, like people are gonna hate a lot when it comes down to like I don't have time to take care of a macaw right now. But people don't realize like. The reason why I don't have time, they're like, oh, you're making dive videos. You're making this video. You should be hanging out with your McCall. You should be doing this. It's like, yo, you guys don't realize that this is what I do for a living, okay? I tattoo for a living, and I do YouTube for a living. This is how I make my money. This is how I pay my bills, okay? So me going diving, yes, it's fun. They're dope videos, but guess what? I'm working. I'm getting paid, okay? So... To say that I'm neglecting my bird and not spending time. First off, my bird doesn't want anything to do with me. She doesn't like guys right now. She only likes girls, which sucks. But in order to give her what she needs, so my bird needs to be in a huge outdoor aviary, which is ideal, right? She's a big bird. She needs a gigantic cage that she could fly around in. She also needs to be with other birds because they're social animals. They need other animals. So I have to work my ass off to be able to save money and buy a bigger property. So that's what these people don't get. People that are hating on these videos and stuff are not saying people like there's not a whole lot of you. And the people that do hate on it, I block them in two seconds. So you ever say any shitty stuff on my pages? Dude, I am like the block king. You say something negative on my page, I'll block you in a second. But anyways, what people don't understand is that in order for me to have a bigger property – in order for me to be able to build bigger cages for my animals, bigger aviaries for my bird, I have to freaking make money. You know what I mean? So I have to work. So in order to work, I have, you know, I can't be here all the time hanging out with my bird for hours on end because, dude, I got to go work and make money so I could pay the bills and buy a bigger property. So people just don't understand that. So anyways, what I'm getting to, where is Tarouk? Where did Tarouk go? I'm honestly – it could not have worked out better. So I'm going to show you guys some videos here on my phone right now because I talk to Justin and everybody every day. So Justin works at the Jungle Queen. Okay, Jungle Queen is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It is a huge sanctuary. They have gigantic cages and tons of birds, tons of alligators, tons of tons of animals. They have marsupials. They have lemurs. They got macaques. They got dude. They have all sorts of things there. So Taruk. Last week, right before Crockfest, actually, so Crockfest was on a Sunday. Um, I took Taruk to Justin's house or to Justin's their property to Jungle Queen. I took Taruk there on Saturday. Taruk is in a gigantic cage now. She's around other birds, so now she's able to talk with other birds and play around with them. And she's got a million like toys, and she's outside also, which is another huge thing about my house. So a lot of people were like, "Oh, your neighbors." 
your neighbors are mad at you for having a loud bird. Why don't you set up sound barriers and blah, blah, blah. I did that. Okay. If you guys didn't know, like, see how light my house is right now? Yeah. It's because I had to take down now that she's gone. I was able to take down all those sound barriers that I had to put up. Now putting up those sound barriers means that the sunlight does not come into that room. So now my bird who is just being a bird, birds scream, nothing abnormal about that. Now I have to put up these sound barriers in that room, which completely blocked out all of the natural sunlight, which is all the natural sunlight, sorry, which is the whole reason of her being in that room, okay? So birds need sunlight, dude. She needs vitamin D. Like vitamin D from a cause is crucial. Like they need sunlight. They need those vitamins. They need the heat from it. They like rain. You know what I mean? So it just made it super hard for her to be here. So it, I started feeling terrible about it. Like why have an animal that is super uncomfortable because like, you know what I mean? Even though as hard as it is to not have her here all the time, Dude, she's right down the street at Justin's place. Like, I'm literally going – I'm going there on Monday. I just went yesterday. I bought Taruk a million new toys, and I'm bringing a couple bird perches over there. I'm going to set it all up and deck it all out. And she's super freaking happy now. So you would imagine that me moving this bird, she would get upset. But it's quite the contrary. So since I've moved her, it's only been a week. Let me see if you guys can see this on uh, – yeah, you guys can see that, right? So this is Taruk being super cute, playing in her new cage. All right. Of course, my internet service is garbage right now because I'm talking to you guys. What the hell? Come on here, cell phone. Of course. There's no freaking... I got shit service right now, but... I'll just maybe I could slide through. Nope, of course it's not working. It's always it always happens like this. You always want to like show things. There we go. Listen to this. Oh. Okay. Like look how happy she is. She's in a huge cage, bro. Like plenty of toys now. She gets tons of attention. So there's a bunch of girls that work at Jungle Queen. And she likes girls the best. Like, yeah, she's bonded with me, so she likes me as a guy, but she hates all other dudes. Like, hates men. Hates them. She loves girls, though. So Shannon, Chan Chandler's chick. Dude, they play with her all day long. She literally has enrichment all day long. So now, instead of being here where she's only around me in the morning or at night, and only getting enrichment then, and I'm at work all day, so I can't, I don't pay attention to her. You know what I mean? I can't, I'm at work. So now she has all the enrichment in the world. And look at this picture Shannon sent me yesterday. Dude, like, how freaking awesome is that, bro? Like, she's on Shannon, like, literally. Like, she's on Shannon's shoulder, like, totally normal, playing with her now, being super sweet. She's in a great mood. Dude, I couldn't be happier. So everybody asking what I'm going to do with Taruk, that's what I did with Taruk. She's at, she's at Justin's. Uh, she's at Jungle Queen. And it honestly works out better because I do a lot of stuff with Justin also. So now I can go do update videos with you guys. It's hard. You guys watch my videos. Like when I'm here filming, she's always screaming in the background because she can hear me. If Taru can hear me talking on my phone or in my snake room or anything, she screams, which is another reason why it was super inconvenient having her here because I couldn't have people over here at night. I couldn't do anything in my house at night. God forbid I go to the gym at night, come home and need to cook dinner in my own freaking kitchen. I couldn't even do that because if I wake her up, she starts screaming, my birds get pissed, and then everybody's mad at me. So, dude, it just works out way better like this because now I can just go to the Jungle Queen, hang out with Justin, hang out with Farouk, spend quality time with everybody. And, dude, everybody wins. Everybody's happy. And so the plan is when I get my property, I'm grinding right now. Like, dude, I am working seven days a week. I am going nonstop 
ham. Like I wake up early as hell in the morning. I go to the gym. I do a bunch of shit around the house. I go to the shop. I tattoo all freaking day. I know I haven't been posting on YouTube much this week just because I've been grinding, bro. Like I've been busy as crap, dude. Tomorrow's 4th of July. I can't wait to be off and just chill with my friends. But right now it's time to work, dude. Like now, especially now that Taruk is gone, now I don't feel bad at all. Richard's with me all day. Shiva gets plenty of time with me in the morning and at night and in the middle of the day. I come home from work, hang out with Shiva. Everybody, all the animals are getting plenty of time with me. So now it is time to grind and make a ton of money until the end of the year so I can buy a property. A bigger property. This house is dope. I love living on the water. But like I'm gonna have to sacrifice living on the water for my animals having more room and bigger enclosures, and they'll just be happier. So that is the goal. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Yeah, man, merch. Let's talk about the merch thing. I know a lot of you guys have been trying to buy merch, and Teespring that I've been using is the absolute worst company in the world. Um, I hate them, Teespring. If you got somebody that's working for you and you're watching this video. You guys suck or run out into traffic because I hate your company. Um, Demolition Ranch, a million people before people start commenting on Demolition Ranch. Yeah, I know Demolition Ranch is awesome, blah, 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 this, that, and the other thing. They're just not really working out for me. They charge too much money. i just not into it. Um, so I'm finding – I just talked to two different companies yesterday that are local here to South Florida um, that hopefully will work out better. So soon I'm going to relaunch my website. And then all my merch is going to be available on my new website. And then you guys can just easily go on there and hopefully there will be no freaking problems. Yes. Somebody's like, Hey, you need to move right next to Chandler. Dude, I'm going to move as close to Chandler as freaking possible. Um, I love it over there. You know, dude, I, I want to be able to walk outside and shoot shit. You know what I mean? Like I want to be able to just freaking walk out my backyard, have a bunch of like Things set up, have my freaking alligators in a big ass pond, be able to like, dude, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be like freaking Joe Exotic walking around with a gun, fucking shooting random things. It's gonna be tight. But uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Um, anything else that I need to touch? Opinion on the zebra cobra escaping in North Carolina or South Carolina? Yeah, that's freaking crazy, bro. Um, Dude, how many people – I have so many people email me about this freaking cobra in South Carolina. They were like, yo, you need to come up here and help catch this thing. They caught it. But, yeah, that's definitely crazy. It sucks, man. That's It's a possibility. Like every – you saw, like, dude, things – cages, sometimes things escape, especially snakes, bro. Snakes can go out of little tiny holes like this. So it sucks. Um – Let's see what else we got here. How is what other come to Mississippi? Beep, 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 beep. His neighbors aren't gonna know what's going on. Yeah, dude. Wait, wait until I move up there. His neighbors are gonna freaking love me, man. Um, how is your yeah, Kayla? Um we're doing good. We're friends. So I love her to death. We're friends. That's just that's it is what it is. I got I gotta focus on I have a lot of things to take care of with myself before I can take care of other people. You know what I mean? You have to focus on yourself, work on your own shit, and then everything else will fall into place. So I'm working on me right now. I'm trying to you know what I mean? Tyson is doing awesome. Uh dude, he is massive. He's getting dude, he's fat. Like so the the bigger he gets, the more he eats. Um, the more he calms down, actually. So he's honestly not that bad. Uh, dude, I've been giving him hot dogs a lot lately. Holy crap, there's a freaking uh, – I wish you guys could see this. I'm on my computer right now, so I can't really, like, walk around my house. And it's hooked up to the Ethernet cable. So, yeah, you all can't see that. Dude, there's a brown and null, which is a little regular lizard. He, like, lives in that new cage now. Obviously, he can just get out of it whenever he wants. But he's, like, literally been there for a couple months now. It's crazy. He's literally – he's sitting on top of the cage right now. It's pretty funny. Anyways, let's see how we are doing over here. Great mindset, dude. Bubba, what's up with Netflix? Netflix, um, dude, I've been filming for Netflix for the last, what, four years now. Um, hopefully it's coming out. I think the new Tiger King comes out in September or something like that. And then uh, the documentary that I'm going to be in is going to be sometime next year. 
production. I don't know if anybody anybody's familiar with TV or production or anything like that, but dude, these things take a lot of fucking time. So like, even when I was on Ink Masters, um, I was on Ink Master. What was it, 2016 or 2017? I was on season six of Ink Masters. If any of you guys didn't freaking know that, um, but dude, we filmed. I was in New York filming for Ink Master. I filmed for four months, okay? I did 17 out of 18 episodes. So just imagine how long it takes to film. It takes four days to film one episode. So it's a lot of time. It is a lot of work. They get a ton of filming in, and they only use a tiny little bit of it. You know what I mean? It's reality It's reality TV. You know, 99% of it is complete BS. So sorry, Ink Master fans out there. The show's a bunch of crap. It's all a bunch of everybody has earpieces and all the all the canvases are getting told how to act and everybody's getting dressed and it's all a bunch of fake crap. Like, dude, I wore – I mean I'm wearing a tank top right now. I wore tank tops the whole freaking season. I don't ever wear tank tops unless I'm going to the gym. It was in New York. It was 30 freaking degrees out. It was freezing and they're putting me in tank tops because I'm the Florida guy. It's all a bunch of BS. The guy that I was on the show with was in overalls every day. You know, Chris never wears overalls ever. Chris never wore overalls until he went on Ink Master because everything is fake. It is all planned out. It's all scripted. It's a bunch of BS. The only thing that's real on those TV shows is us actually tattooing. Yes, the tattoos are real. And yes, we have six hours to do the tattoos, but the rest is bullshit. The drama, the the everything. It's a bunch – dude, it's all – Everything, the judging, the judges aren't even, the judges don't even say what they get to want to say. The judges are being told what to say by a producer who is this lady named Andrea, who is also the producer of Survivor and a bunch of other TV shows. She's a 55 year old woman who has like seven kids and she's a terrible person. Honestly, she's like the most miserable person in the world. So imagine working for somebody that hates her life. She's going to make you hate your life. It sucked, but it is what it is. Ink Masters was fun. It was a great experience. It definitely helped me be in front of a camera more comfortably and do my YouTube stuff. I'm very used to being on camera and talking about whatever. I could care less about that now. Ink Masters definitely helped with that. Definitely helped reach a bigger audience throughout the world. You know what I mean? Because Ink Masters is everywhere. Hopefully, it's going to be on Netflix. My season should be on Netflix soon. But I think – um what is it? You can watch it on Paramount Networks. So yeah, if you guys download the Paramount the Paramount Networks app, you can watch my season. Um, yeah, Kevin, people keep watching Netflix. People keep mentioning Netflix because I'm doing a bunch of Netflix stuff. So stay tuned. Do you remember the red? What the? Oh, it disappeared. Where the hell did that go? Give Khaleesi kisses for me. Sure. We need a Chandler, Tyler, and Dingo documentary. Hell yeah. That would be awesome. Oops, view deleted comment. Crap, I accidentally hit that comment. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Somebody says Trump 2020. Bro, it's 2021, and we have – I'm not even going to get into that, bro. I'm not going to talk about our president right now because there's nothing to say. All you got to do is listen to the guy talk for five minutes, and you can pretty, pretty much understand his intellectual level. Um, speak the truth. Does Justin, does Justine have a YouTube channel? Justin does have a YouTube channel, but he never really goes on it. Can we have a tattoo video one day? Yes, we can have tattoo videos. Very soon I'm going to start doing uh, shop videos again. The only reason why I stopped doing uh, shop videos is because I had an employee at the time who was a miserable person and she... She hated the camera being at the shop. She didn't even – she doesn't really like people. I don't know what her problem is. Um, but, yeah, she is gone. Good freaking riddance. Shop is super stress-free now. It is absolutely amazing. Um, I have Randy at the shop now. I don't know if you guys have been following Randy. He's been a couple dive videos with me. Randy is a badass tattooer. We have Ben coming down soon. Ben's moving here from Philly. He starts August 1st. He's another pretty famous tattooer. Badass work. So we're going to be doing a shitload of shop videos very soon. Another reason why it sucks at the shop is because when we're when we're tattooing at the shop, dude, we're all in the zone. You know, we're freaking grinding. We're, I'm making art. You know, we're listening to music and shit. We're like we're partying pretty much. Like it is a good time. We're all getting down. You know what I mean? So when I'm filming for YouTube, we have to turn music on off. Sorry. So like if I have music playing in the background, everybody's jamming out at the shop, having a great time. 
we have to turn the music off so we can film. And then it's just like quiet. And then it's just like, it just kind of kills the vibe, you know? Tattooing is a very like, when you, I don't know how many people here are, are tattooed, but when you're getting tattooed, you want it to be like a nice, relaxed environment, you know, because it hurts, bro. Getting tattooed, dude, tattoos fucking hurt, bro. Especially when you get into areas like this, dude. Armpits suck, bro. So imagine going into a tattoo shop, you're getting your armpits tattooed, and you're, you're just, it's just like there's no music. It's just like there's people are talking on cameras. It's just like kind of kills the vibe. So we got to figure out a way to uh, make shop videos more fun maybe i can like uh i can use some different kind of music or something i don't know where's my fate pen i put it down somewhere here it is guys don't ever start smoking these things they're absolutely terrible for you i hate them but i can't stop it's addicting oh i need to uh do you have kids with courtney kardashian <laughs> i love that question no, but isn't isn't uh who the hell is dating Courtney now? Where who the fuck did I see post some shit? Uh, God, drummer Travis Barker. Yeah, Travis Barker. That's who it is. Travis Barker's killing it. Reality TV booze. Yes, it does. Hey Tyler, you watching from Connecticut? How are you? I am doing fine, Jennifer. How are you? Troy, I'm a legend. Thanks, bro. Your relationship with Marissa was real. My relationship with Marissa was real. Real crazy. No, nah, I'm kidding. I love Marissa to death. She is always going to have a soft spark in my heart. I'm friends with all my ex-girlfriends. I don't I don't hold – actually, no, I lied. I'm not – there's this one particular. There's a bunch of pictures on the internet that, yeah, I hate her. I hope she gets hit by a train. I, I would – if she was on fire in front of me, I wouldn't be pissed on her. Like, I hate her. She – but she sucks. She totally used me, and, yeah, I don't – with those people anyways marissa is an amazing person marissa is a hustler she's very motivated she's owns her own tattoo shop she's a grinder she's you know everybody has their weird little things about them but dude marissa and i we started off yeah the show they wanted us to like talk to each other on the show and everything but everything was pretty much real i ended up dating marissa for probably like three or four years after we were even on tv together so it was definitely real it was crazy um, but yeah, we had a bunch of great times together. Like, oh, yeah, she'll always be have like special. All oh, everybody, you know what I mean? I don't hold grudges, bro. Like, I love everybody. Um, you grow. People grow. Like, you might vibe with somebody in the beginning of the relationship, and then you both figure out about each other. You both get older. You both go through more experiences, and things happen. Things change. Maybe you want different things than you wanted before. You know what I mean? Maybe they wanted this and now you want that, you know? So, like, you just have to, like, you're never going to grow if you don't take uncomfortable leaps. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you have to risk a lot in order to get a lot, you know? Sometimes moves that you have to make in life are hard and stressful and they're gonna make you sad and they're tough but like at the end of the day some of those moves are for the better so you just have to put your faith in whatever you put your faith in put your faith in god whatever it is i know some people don't really i'm religious i'm not really religious but i believe in god and i pray and all that stuff and i have faith that like whatever does happen in life has like a reason behind it you know what i mean so Whatever happens, happens. But you just have to like make try to make the right decisions. Try to make try to oh that little lizard, he's trying to he's like trying to like mate with my water monitors. Anyways, you gotta try to just do your own thing. Be happy with yourself first. Because if you're not happy with yourself first, you're never gonna be happy with somebody else. Like if you don't love who you are, nobody is gonna you're not gonna really love anybody else because you have to be a hundred percent with you first. And then the rest will follow. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, dude, if you're, if you hate yourself or you're, you're not happy with where you're at in life and you're sad all the time or miserable all the time, your vibes are just going to be negative. And then those negative vibes are going to go on to the person that you're with. And then they're going to be negative. And it's just this big old negative freaking fiasco. You know what I mean? 
which sucks. Let's go back to freaking messages. Sorry, I'm like rambling and just talking and stuff. I've been talking for 30 minutes already. I wish you guys could like, I wish this was like a Zoom video and like I could like click on things and be like, all right, you could talk, you could talk, you could talk. Let's see what we got here. Show, leap on Donnie Rapture's ass. Donnie, Donnie Rapture. Who is that guy? I don't even care. He's literally the, the shit that gets stuck to my shoe. You know what I mean? Like Donnie is a camera guy. Cool. Don't care. He's completely irrelevant to this industry. Could care less. Fourth of July. Four, are you serious, bro? Somebody just said canal jump. I swear to God, I am going to. What is your name? Gaming with X Docs. Whatever the frick that is. Dude, I swear to God, you guys tell me to jump in the canal one more time. I'm going to freak out. Canal jump. Jordan, you shut your mouth. How long have you been tattooing? I've been tattooing for 15 years, dude, and I am so sick of it. Kidding. I love tattooing, but I want to do a lot more things with my life. Right now, I'm tattooing six days a week. It hurts my hands. It hurts my back. It hurts my neck. It hurts everything. I am over it. I've been tattooing for 15 years. I'm completely booked till the end of the year. Literally, this whole year is booked solid. Solid. No room at all. Next year, I'm tattooing three days a week. Three, 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 two and a half, three. I'm tattooing three days a week next year. And uh, I'm charging two grand a day. That's it. Right now, I charge 1500 a day. Next year, I'm going to two grand a day. That's it. And I don't always charge like that's not like they're like, oh my God, that's how they make fifteen hundred dollars a day. No, I don't make fifteen hundred dollars a day. I tattoo a lot of my friends also and a lot of really older clients. So I normally base everything off two hundred hourly, but all my bigger like when I'm tattooing huge things all day, yes, that's a fifteen hundred dollar day. Next year I am only doing gigantic custom pieces that are what I draw, what I want to tattoo. That is it. Done. I don't care if I tattoo once a week. That's totally fine. I will do YouTube stuff the rest of the time because it does not hurt my hands. You know what I mean? It's just people don't realize how much it takes toll and how honestly expensive it is. Because like tattooing, dude, my supplies are very expensive. Gloves are a million dollars right now. Everything is a million dollars right now. It's super expensive. And it's taxing. I have to go to a chiropractor once a week, twice a week. You know how much money a chiropractor costs? Just so I can get out of bed and like try to do things, you know what I mean? So I don't have I don't have a retirement plan. I don't have a lot of things. There's a lot of things that go into tattooing that a lot of people don't really think about. You know what I mean? So like I have to have other plans. I'm not gonna tattoo for the rest of my life. I don't want to I am 33 years old. I will be done tattooing when I'm 40. I promise you. Like done with it. So you want to get tattooed by me? You have seven more years. <laughs> Still want to volunteer for what do we got coming over here? Hey Tyler, can you give me a shout out from India? Schwaschwatz? Yeah, if you had an easier name, I would totally Schwaschwatz Herpendice. Yeah, you needed an easier, easier name there, buddy. Fishing. I'm done with fishing. Um maybe sometimes I'll fish. I haven't fished in a really long time because I've been spear fishing lately. So uh spear fishing is way cooler. You could target what you want to shoot. You could only only take what you need. Way better. Fishing is. I'm. I don't know. I'm just indifferent to it now. Um, would you ever come to the UK? Yeah, I will come to the UK unless they require me to get a vaccination, and then they can just piss off because I'm, you will have to hold me down to vaccinate my ass, bro. Like I don't know if you guys see what the hell is going on in the world with all these things, but people are dying. People are getting sick. It's causing heart failure. People are becoming sterile. Uh, that 12 year old girl was, dude, she's like in a wheelchair, can't breathe on her own. Like what? Why am I going to get a, I'm not even going there. I'm not getting vaccinated ever for what? For fe uh, to get fear mongered by my government. I don't think so. Um, what is Richard up to? Richard is running around the house being a psychopath. Um, thinking about getting a dragon sleeve, would you be able to do it? It would have to be my style dragon. Um, like a neo traditional dragon color, yes. Medieval dragon, hell no. I'm not a fan of medieval dragons. 
and phoenixes. I hate phoenixes. I'm never tattooing another phoenix ever again. I'm completely 80. I am out of phoenixes. I have no more. They're 86. No more phoenixes. Sorry to the phoenix people out there. Never doing one again. Let's see. Shout out. Let's see. Too bad you and Chandler are going on a huge reptile park. Yeah, that would be cool. But like, honestly, going into business with your friends sucks. I don't know if anybody's been in business with your friends or your family members or whatever that is. But being in, I love Chandler to death. Chandler is one of my best friends. We do not do business. We do YouTube stuff together, but we keep our business stuff separate. Like he has his money. I have my money. They're separate. Once you mix the two together, that's when people start butting heads with each other. And yeah, I've just, I'm, dude, I'm, I've done it before. I've owned tattoo shops with other people. I've had business partners. Business partners suck. What is the scariest experience you've had diving? Any sh shark encounters? Yeah, that would probably be the scariest thing, honestly. Um, not really scary because I know how to handle sharks. But yeah, sharks sometimes come out of nowhere and they try to take your fish or they try to take your whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, they're sharks. They're fast. They like fish. Boom. Let's see. Let's see here. Boom. Do I play cod? I don't even know what that is. Cod is like a fish. I don't play with fish. Maybe I eat fish. I eat cod, like fish and chips. Yeah, cod's cool. What's the update on the female indigo? Um, still waiting on my paperwork. Actually, they changed everything from doing everything over paper. So now it's all electronic. So I have to email them back again soon and then do all that thing. Um, let's see here. Too bad you and Chandler didn't do your review. Shout out to Tracy. You don't have it. In okay, you don't have it here. And I'd be bip, bip, bip. That doesn't make any sense. Turned 33 yesterday. Another person. Do you play Co OD? Oh, uh, that's his. Oh, Call of Duty. Video games? I don't play video games. Like, video games are a waste of time. I mean, I'm sorry to people out there that love playing video games, but you can do a lot of things better with your life. If you don't imagine how much time you spend in front of your TV playing video games, imagine if you were doing something productive. You know what I mean? People that are out there doing productive things and killing it. Yes, play video games at the end of the day if that's what you like to do. But video games are honestly a huge distraction and a waste of time for doing what you need to do. So I don't play video games because I just have other things to do. I'd rather do something productive and make money and like better like go to the gym. You know what I mean? Like take care of yourself. People that have time for that, I'm not I'm not jocking anybody. That's great. I just don't play video games. Um did I miss the fire chicken update? Uh, yeah, you did miss the fire chicken update. It was earlier in this video, so I'm pretty sure you could just go back to the beginning of it and do all that. Why don't I make gun videos? I don't make a lot of gun videos because people in 2021 are little vaginas, and they get very – everything. Like, I'm sure people are upset that I was talking about not getting vaccinated on here. Like, who cares, dude? I don't care that you're vaccinated. I don't care that I'm not vaccinated. Do your own thing. Like people are just very judgy. So they're like, oh, you have guns and guns, gross guns, kill people. No, stupid people, kill people, shitty people, kill people, guns, protect people, especially with what's going on right now in the world, bro. Like you need protection. Trust me. Like, so that's why I don't do gun stuff because people, I just I hate dealing with stupid comments. I don't want to, I don't need people's opinions. I do what I do. I do what I do. Boom! Shout out from Missouri. How are your Aldabras? My Aldabras are absolutely gigantic. They are growing super fast. How can I send you some buds, like some some reefers? I don't think you can send that um, in the mail. Maybe you can. No, I don't think so. Don't do that. That's super illegal. I didn't say that. Um, hi Tyler. Thanks for your videos. Do you? I'll do me. Simple as that. Hell yeah, Haley. I don't care what people do. You, you live your life. I live my life. NRA, a hundred percent. Second Amendment, baby. Hell yeah. See, I love that. My side. Only couple people that are on my side. I'm still waiting for my guns to shoot me. <laughs> Joshua, that's pretty funny. Um, how are the cats? The cats are really fat. 
they're doing okay. They eat they eat my dog food. That's why I think that's why they keep getting fat is because they just like are stuck on dog food. They just I don't know. They for some reason cats don't want to ever eat cat food. They want to eat all the other food. And the same thing with my dog. My dog never wants dog food. They always want cat food. It's like they, I feel like animals just always want what they're not supposed to have. Have you ever handled a black mamba or a taipan? Yes, I have handled both, and I do not like either one of them. Um, yeah, even my green mambas that I got from Dingo. I hate them. They're terrible animals. They're they're fast. They're mean. They growl. They try to bite me. They're not fun to handle. Like I know a lot of people like mambas, but it's because you don't have to work with them on a daily basis. Imagine having a mamba in your house and you got to clean the cage and change the water bowl out every day. It sucks. It's not fun. Like, yeah, they're beautiful animals, but I'm not a fan. I my mambas drive me. I, it sucks. I didn't even know Dingo was sending me those mambas. We talked about it forever ago, but I didn't know y'all was getting a pair. I love Dingo to death. I love the Mambas. They're great. I'm going to keep them forever, and hopefully they chill the fuck out eventually. But right now, they're crazy. Would you do a horror sleeve, Joseph? No, sorry. I am only tattooing animals next year. That is it, literally. Like animal tattoos. I'm doing animals, my style, that's it. It's all I'm looking. Sorry. I just I'm so busy that think I am blessed that I get to pick and choose what I do and I am literally only doing animal tattoos next year because I want to enjoy what I do. And I want to give you guys the best tattoo possible. You know what I mean? That's another thing people don't realize. When you have a tattoo artist tattoo something that they're not into, they're not gonna put their all into it. You know what I mean? Like why would you want to get tattooed by me and get something that I don't want to do? You know? Like I'm only tattooing animals, only my style, only things that I'm going to enjoy and I'm going to murder. You know what I mean? Like unless I'm going to do the best job ever on it, I'm not going to do it. How are the dragons? The dragons are awesome. You inspired me to draw. What is my dream animal? Ooh, a cow. Is that weird? That I want a cow more than like anything? I can't wait to get a baby cow. It's going to be so cute. I want a cow so bad. I just need lamb so I can have a freaking cow, man. I have a cow at the shop. His name is Cheeseburger, but he's uh, he's taxidermy. He's on Randy Station. Do you remember Red Caboose by Underground Reptile? Red Caboose, like the red spitting cobra? That's the only Red Caboose I really know. Please don't let your snakes loose. Why would I let my snakes loose? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, plenty of plants to keep mosquitoes away. Yeah, I need to do that. Well, they want to take away our right to carry self-defense reference here in Africa. Well, Africa, you guys need to speak up, bro. If 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 our freaking if our dumbass president tried taking our guns away, it would be a civil war. Like, come get my guns. It's not happening. I need to be careful what I say on YouTube. I'm too like I'm too transparent. I think, like I just I gotta like I gotta watch what I say on here. <laughs> There's too many freaking snowflakes out in the world. Uh, Tyler Block, what's up? EB Troll, Tyler Block, what's up? He's trolling. I don't even see anything in here. How do I block people on here? I need to have. Oh, I need to get better at this. Insanity, not my labia, but my Lydia. Who said what? Oh, I'm not even repeating that. Don't damn stop repeating yourself. Go watch something else, Amy. Like, sorry if I'm repeating myself. Fuck off. Um, let's see here. It'll never happen, bro. What's the next snake you want to get? You got to have a moderator. Yeah, I got to figure out how to do that. I'm still like figuring this crap out, dude. Um, will you tattoo an animal? Like, tattoo an animal? Like, me, an animal, tattoo it? No, it's animal cruelty, bro. I don't want to do that. It's like people are like, oh, you're going to tattoo your cats? Why would I tattoo my cats? Your elves are so cute. I have elves. Mm. Mm. Thank you for being you. Thanks, Heather. I want an orca tattoo. Here you go, orca tattoo. I am so down for orca tattoo. Indica or sativa? Ah! Sativa during the day in the cat night. I am sending you. You can't do that. All these people on here that are sending, they're selling me flour. 
Don't do that. Florida real estate. What the hell is going on? Yeah, Florida real estate. What the hell is going on? You can't buy anything like what asking price. Everything is going way over asking price, which is why I am sitting right here in my beautiful house on the water until I save up way more money. And then at the end of the year, hopefully we get hopefully a hurricane comes this year. Because right now the thing with Florida is is we have all these idiots from not saying people from New York or anything are idiots. That is not what I'm saying at all. But people that are coming down here. Some of them suck. Florida's nice, full of nice people. People in New York, most of the time to me. Um, but yeah, we have all these freaking people coming into Florida that need to leave. So hopefully we get some hurricanes this year. There's a hurricane on the way here. It's a tropical storm. It's whatever, bro. Big Floridians, we live for this shit. People are going to get freaked out, though. So we just need a good hurricane to come to Florida, scare all the softies out of here, bring the market down again, and then I'm going to buy a big property plan let's see here how's Tarouk? can you grab him real quick jade you should probably watch the beginning of this video where i give you the Tarouk update Tarouk is no longer here Tarouk is at the farm with justin until i get my new property and then she will be oh i didn't even say that so Tarouk is gonna have a boyfriend Tarouk is gonna be with a scarlet macraw macraw i can't talk right now a macaw so Tarouk is gonna be with a scarlet macaw and uh so once I get my property, I'm going to build a gigantic aviary, and I'm going to bring both of them home. Yes, I'm going to have two birds now. And then I'm going to start adopting and relocating and rescuing a bunch of maybe some injured macaws or other injured birds. I'm going to build a – the aviary that I'm going to build on my new property is going to be the size of my house right now, literally. So like I'm going to build a gigantic aviary, maybe have a couple different sections inside of it. So maybe if there's problematic birds or maybe there is birds that need special care, they could be put in different wings of the aviary and they can be catered to properly. And I'm going to have a big waterfall going through the cage. They have nice flowing water and they have a place to bathe. Dude, it's going to be absolutely epic. So once that happens, it's going to be freaking amazing. Make another video with Tom Crutchfield. Yeah, actually, I've been filming with Netflix. Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff with Tom, so just stay soon. Just because you don't see me doing stuff on YouTube uh, with Tom doesn't mean I'm not doing stuff with Tom elsewhere. Coolest thing I've encountered while diving. Sharks are awesome. I love sharks. Um, I really want to see a hammerhead. That's like on the bucket list. Uh, we see huge sea turtles all the time and shipwrecks and plane wrecks. And we find things all the time. Every time I've been diving here my whole life, every time we go out, it's something different. It's always something different. Let's see. Tell us about my childhood. We need, we need more time for that. Do I plan on making content with a real Tarzan? Oh, yeah, dude. Mikey's a really good friend of mine. Uh, I don't know if you got a lot. Of, I think I've made a couple videos. I need to make a couple videos with him soon. I'm um, actually on Monday. I'm tattooing Tyrone Spung. You guys know Tyrone Spung is an MMA fighter. He's like one of the best kickboxers in the world. I'm tattooing his throat on Monday. He's really good friends with Mikey. Um, and then I think we're going to go. Tyrone has a bunch of uh, toucans and stuff at his house. I'm going to go over there, check out his animals. And I'm going to probably head down to Mikey's after that, see what Mikey's got going on. Because Mikey had a fire at his house recently, or eight months ago, seven months ago. Mikey had to rebuild a lot of stuff at his house. He lost a bunch of animals and stuff. Just absolutely terrible. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to make a video with Mikey soon. Let's see what we have. How are the mambas? The mambas are crazy. I feel like a lot of these questions I've already answered everything. Do you like keeping any beaver? beaver, beaver? Would it be cool to holy crap? There's so many freaking questions on here. Add a European adder to your collection. Yeah, I would. They're just I have puff adders. They're really cool. I honestly I need a bigger snake room before I get anything. So I'm pretty much maxed out. You probably won't be seeing any new snakes. The only reason why I got those mambas is because. Dingo sent them to me. It's not like I was like, hey, I want to buy some mambas. Bought mambas. No, they were given to me. Thank you, Dingo. I love you. You're amazing. They were given. But I have no plans on buying any snakes anytime soon. I need a bigger property. I need a huge snake room. I need everything to be, you know, that is number one. Number, number one right now, saving money, buying property. So, and merch. Getting merch up. New website. You guys can buy merch help do all that stuff. Would I do a podcast channel? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm going to probably do that when I get a property. So I could like, I just need, I need more time to do things that I want to do. Cause right now I'm tattooing almost every day and I'm working my ass off. So my time is very limited. You know what I mean? 
Let's dry Tortugas. No, I have not dove over there. Are Will and Chandler still friends? Yeah, dude, we're all still friends. I mean, yeah, Chandler is a little grudgier, but I mean, I'm friends with everybody. ELE, bro. Like, I don't really care. It takes a lot to piss me off and not and hate you for forever. I mean, what does the most be, 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 be? Have you ever tattooed Tom McDonald? No, but Tom McDonald is awesome. I love that guy. I listen to his music all the time. Tom, he's hilarious. So if you guys watch Tom McDonald stuff, go comment on his thing and be like, hey, Tom McDonald, it's a big fan of yours. Go be tattooed by him because he's awesome. Um, uh, How terrible was getting your tongue split? Uh, it wasn't that bad. I got my tongue split twice. Uh, first time I did it was with the ECU, which is an electrical cauterizing unit. So you, it's like electric. You it like burns it and cuts it at the same time. Um, and then the second time I got it done with a scalpel, which is a razor. Yeah. Cut it and then st stitch it back together. Did you not get my $20? I want to help you out. Jenna, I am sure if you sent it properly, I got it. I have no idea. To be honest with you, there's been probably 1800 comments since I've started this. So it's kind of everything kind of gets lost in the midst, especially when I'm talking and I'm looking at the screen. I'm not really paying attention to what people are saying here on the uh, on all these freaking questions. When you get a property, are you going to open it? Yes, I will open it up to very select people. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be very careful. There's a lot of weirdos out there in the world, obviously. Um, so I don't want weirdos coming out of my house. So I'm going to have to like have like a little screening process beforehand. Dude, I have been on here for 51 minutes. It is 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Um, I have to go to work. I have to get ready to go to work. I have a full day today. What am I tattooing? I am tattooing. Let's see. Here real quick. I am tattooing Gabby. Gabby Roy. I will see you later. I'm tattooing a girl face. It's going to be amazing. Does the size matter for tattoo booking with you? Yes. I only do big stuff. Um, if you don't have much space left, just email me, show me the size of the area, and I can always like figure out a way to uh, make it fit in there. Um, but yeah, I got to go. I got to go take a shower, get ready, go to work. I got to take Shiva and Richard out. Want to say hi, Richard? He's just sleeping at my feet the whole time. Update on the truck, you said. I did an update on the truck not that long ago. Can you give a shout-out to Emmerich? He's my two-year-old son, and he loves your channel. Carlin, hi, Emmerich. Nice to meet you, bro. Peace out, brown trout. Nighty-night. Have a good day at work. Love you guys. You guys are the best. Oh, you're so cute, Missy. Have you ever been bitten by a venomous snake besides the king cobra? Oh, that's a secret. Um... Let's see. That was rusty. Everybody's doing good. I gotta go. I gotta. I hope everybody has an amazing Fourth of July. Go freedom it up. Don't blow your fingers off. Be very careful with those fireworks. Don't drink too much. Don't drive. Um, what else? It's pretty much it. Don't ca don't catch anything on fire. Shout out to Annabelle. Hi Annabelle. Have an awesome day. Everybody saying bye. Look at all the people saying bye to you, Richard. That's so nice. Happy Fourth, guys. Till next time, you guys rock. Seriously, ser seriously though, on the real, yeah, there's a lot of people on here that are jerk offs, but all you guys, all my main people, you guys rock. You guys allow me to have a life that I've dreamed of since I was a kid, and we're just getting started. Like, I literally feel like we're just getting started. I only have 375 subs right now. Like, that's nothing. Like, we need to go to the millions. You know what I mean? So we're literally just getting started. This is the beginning of the road. Beginning. You guys are going to watch Richard grow up. Be super cute. Maybe get another one. You know? It's going to be awesome. All right. My, my goodbye is taking way too long. I just wanted to tell you guys how much I appreciate you. And how much you guys really helped me out with. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. Like, YouTube has... Changed my life for sure. Look at Chandler. Chandler's killing it. YouTube. Because of you guys. I would be nothing without the support of you guys. Nothing. Without you, there's no me. Seriously. It happens because of y'all. So, thank you guys. Fucking love you guys. Till next time. Peace out.
peace out. I hate that. I miss my fingers sometimes. All right, guys. Bye.